Oh mein Gott. Long time no see. We dyeing our hair again. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. <laughs> I don't really know why it's been so long. I've kind of just been not feeling very creative. YouTube wise. So, last time you saw me I had rainbow hair. But right now as you can see it's blue. Oh, wait, I'll set up this camera properly. This is not very professional. Yeah. Since you last saw me I had rainbow hair and then I dyed it blue. If you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, blah blah blah, you would know. That's been so passive aggressive. You would know if you followed me. I learned, I've had blue hair before and I've learned that I don't really like it very much. I like having blue hair when there's other colours involved but when it's fully blue, I, I just feel a little bit... I love it on other people, that's why I always end up dyeing my hair blue. But I do it on myself and I'm like, regret that. So we're dyeing it again, we're dyeing it. I don't know yet. Um, this video is either going to be Oh my god, my hair fell out. Or, look how beautiful my hair is. We'll see. Um, I hope that isn't foreshadowing. Also, sorry about my background. It literally looks disgusting. But I'm sitting on my bathroom floor and I'm about to bleach my hair. So, you know, you can't get more disgusting than that. Before I get into the video, this video is sponsored. Thank goodness. I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives like myself and they've got like 25,000 classes in art and business and like a lot more. I was so excited when they offered to sponsor this video because you know I'm going back to art school in like a couple weeks. I've been really enjoying illustration as well as fine art. Um, I was just super grateful because I've been feeling a bit lost in art and it's helped me, you know, get back into it. Okay, so a class I've been really into on Skillshare is Drawing on Everything, Discovering Your Creative Voice by Chantel Martin. It's literally been the best for getting back into art and, as it says, finding your creative voice. It's helped me a lot. This course has helped me be confident in my art and actually get back into the swing of things. You know, if you want to feel creativity, your business brain or anything like that, it really is the place to be. You can join 7 million other learners today. If you click the link below, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let me know any classes you decide to join. You can meet like-minded learners as well as receive and give feedback on the classes you're in with other members. Skillshare are giving a two month free trial and limited access trial to anyone who clicks the link in my description now. After that, it's about $10 a month. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Anyway, on with completely ruining my hair. Okay, so you're probably like, why do you look so greasy? Throughout the whole ad read and the start of the video. Uh, well, since I'm going to be bleaching my hair, I decided to slather coconut oil all over it for about three, four hours before I actually bleach it. <sighs> Apparently it stops it getting really, really damaged, but we'll see. Um, once I take all my, okay that's not working, I'll quickly show you the haul I got at Sally's today. So this is the bleach I'm going to be using, it's Freeze Ice Bleaching Kit, High Lift Bleaching Kit with Inbuilt Silver Rising Toner for Ultimate High Lift Bond Ing. I've never seen this in my life, but Sally's is selling it, so I'm going to trust it. These are all the colours I got. I'm thinking pink and yellow, but I doubt this blue is going to come out very easily, so I'll show you what I got. I got crazy colour, usually I prefer to use like Arctic Fox or something, more, way more conditioning, but I'm doing this on a whim, so it's like, I like a light crazy colour, but somehow I feel like it damages my hair. I don't think it can, but I got these colours, I got pink Kissimo. Bubblegum Blue, Candy Floss and Anarchy UV. <laughs> Sorry if I look a bit gross. I've literally just been at Leeds Fest all weekend and my skin didn't like camping all week because I couldn't take my makeup off properly. So my skin is very dry and a little bit spoil. It's been worse 
This is barely anything, but I, I was doing good before. She was fine. But yeah, some highlights from Leeds. That was like 30 degrees every day. Pretty sure I got heat stroke every single day. I think my favourite part from Leeds Fest was someone walking into the porta potty I was in twice. I don't know if you've ever this has ever happened to you. Sorry, I'm doing a little side story because I'm genuinely still upset about it. <laughs> so I went into this wee porta potty and I was in guest camping because you know. V I P bitches. Um and so these porta potties were semi nice, you know. I was just, you know, in the porta potty and doing what you do in a porta potty. And then somebody opened it a little bit. You know when somebody you try a toilet, you're like somebody might be in this, we don't know. This lock clearly wasn't working. Somebody opened it and then like a little crack and they were just like <gasps> And I was like, okay, that's kinda embarrassing, but definitely been in worse situations, embarrassing situations. So I was like, I laughed. I was like, this is funny. Went on my close friend's story, I was like, ha, no way, someone just walked into the toilet. And then, and this woman <laughs> opened it fully, like, just <laughs> me in the toilet. So I'm like crying thinking about it because it was so embarrassing. <laughs> and she was just like, oh, <laughs> shut it. And I've not, I just needed to talk about it because it's like, I feel like this is therapy. I was just in the toilet like, what? <laughs> anyway, tangent about why my skin doesn't look very great, but that was my experience at Leeds Fest. I think they bleached my hair. Um, yeah, I'm using this. Soaked my hair in coconut oil for like four hours, so I'm ready. As you can see, my roots are really coming through, and then it's blue. I haven't d bleached my roots since I got my rainbow hair, so it's been like two months. Um, I don't know how the difference. I assume my roots will go lighter, and this will just stay blue because that's how blue dye works. Blue dye just doesn't leave, but I'm sure that I'm gonna try it. And after that. I'm gonna use some Olaplex. This is the one you can buy in Sally's. You get like sal in salon things that you can do. I've never been to a salon to get the Olaplex treatment before, but I might need to after this because I'm gonna destroy my hair. But I know for a fact that my hair isn't that damaged. Like, I know all of you are like, <laughs> Eve, your hair's gonna fall out. <laughs> and then it's like, Eve be like, equals egg emoji. Like, my hair won't fall out. <laughs> Cut to me bald. I have faith in my hair. It's been pretty good. When I style it right, it's soft and like healthy. So now I'm going to bleach my hair. I've got a mirror in the back. Mirror in front of me. I'm going to time lapse this probably. Fly. Okay. It's morning, it's like 10 a.m. and I thought I would show you my hair properly <laughs> and not in scary iPhone clips. Um, so I thought I'd mess my hair up because I've never bleached it before and it come out this white because this is really light and I'm not used to having that hair and I saw it and I remember pulling some of the strands and little bits of hair coming out. But I later learned that that's normal. So my hair is actually kind of soft. I know it looks kind of questionable, like the health of it. But I mean, my hair always looks like this when I let it air dry. But obviously it still feels dry because I've just slapped loads of chemicals on it. But, I'm gonna, I know somebody's probably screaming at me right now, but I'm gonna put more coconut oil on my hair, leave on for a couple hours, and I'm just gonna 
add some bleach to the roots because as you can see I'm horrible at bleaching my hair apparently so I'm not even going to touch the ends of my hair just the roots and leave it on for literally like 10 minutes because I'm not risking my hair falling out <laughs> okay um, I'm not going to film that because it's literally going to be the exact same process as before I'll probably be checking back in when I'm actually going to dye it so sorry to I think I've decided I'm going to go blue, pink and yellow or pink, yellow and green but yeah see you later I can't stop looking in the viewfinder I'm sorry Right, I did my second round of bleaching and I literally left it on for like less than five minutes because I just got nervous and was like, um, maybe let's not do this. So I still have some, like this part is dark, but at this point I don't care anymore. But yeah, I'm just going to mix the colours, show you them and just pretty much wing it. The colour, I'm only going to use three colours, I've decided. Um, I'm not going to go full rainbow, but semi-rainbow, let's see. So the first one I've got is this yellow. It's the L'Oreal Colourful Hair, this thing. I've never used this before. And it's in Yellow Sun, and I added a tiny bit of Olaplex to this, because I've never used that. I don't know how, if this is damaging. It doesn't smell like it is, so. <laughs> this one is the pink I'm going to be using. I added... Some Pinkies Mo by Crazy Colour, a little bit of Anarchy UV, also by Crazy Colour, and some Candy Floss by Crazy Colour. And the last one is this. This is Ball Gum Blue by Crazy Colour, and I added a little bit of po Posidon by Arctic Fox. Jean Jacket Baby or something. Those are the two colours I used to get the dark blue, which I really liked, but it faded out into like turquoise, so that's why I'm changing it. But <clears throat> I added a tiny bit of that as well because I'm sure I've messed around with bubblegum blue before and it's not very like I swear you need to have like white white hair for this to work, but I'm gonna add a little bit more because there's not a lot in the little top. Uh, I'm gonna do a time lapse with this because it's gonna take me fucking ages, basically. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> as you can see, my hair is officially dyed. Um, 
some thoughts. I like just decided to like ignore how much blue was in my hair before. Like I knew that I was there but I just thought eh. Worried about the effect the blue is going to have on the rest of the colour because some of the yellow as you can see looks a wee bit green and some of the pink looks a little bit grey. <laughs> <laughs> this took me literally like over an hour but I'm gonna leave it on for 20-30 minutes wash it out and show you I'm just trying to predict the future see you soon I guess we back let me come to the window now <laughs> it looks cool okay washed it out and I kind of took each bit out separately and kind of rinsed it separately so it didn't really you know f merge too much into it I guess did a hair mask for like 10-20 minutes rinsed that out I'm about to dry it I'm gonna use plenty of heat protection don't worry um and I'll be back with the finished result. Hooray. It looks cold on it. I'm excited. Wait, I'm gonna do a close up because. Ooh. I'm so glad I like decided to invest in this camera because look how pretty. Look how green some bits look as well though. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, anyway. Okay. Ooh. Nope, 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 nope. This is it. I'm happy with it. It's like a little bit more pastel than the last time I went rainbow. I don't really know what else to say. Yeah, how do you finish a video like this? Um, I like it. Happy with the result. Subscribe. By the way, for all the haters, my hair's literally fine. Like, it feels soft and healthy. So, I highly recommend Olaplex and also dousing your hair in coconut oil just before you bleach it. Well, not just before, like, three hours before. Or sleeping with coconut oil in your hair. But yeah. Please don't make any 6 9 jokes. You will get blocked. Like, subscribe. Bye.